Okay, so it says solve each inequality. Um, so I see two-step inequalities, so I'm just gonna solve them over here. So remember, we're using reverse order of operations. I should have put this up there, but in reverse. So we'll start with addition and subtraction. Um, so we're gonna subtract nine, subtract nine. Um, those will cancel. We'll be left with x over two equal, not equals, um, is greater than or equal to, right? We keep our sign. Five minus nine, it's five plus negative nine. Nine minus five plus four. So this is negative four. Uh, we haven't done anything that would require us to change the sign yet because all we're doing is adding and subtracting, which does not change the sign. Um, now to get rid of divide by two, we multiply both sides by two. The twos cancel, x. And since we didn't multiply by negative, we still keep it is greater than or equal to. Four times two is eight, one negative. So we never changed the sign because we never divided or multiplied by a negative number. Um, this one, it does look like we're going to be doing that. Um, so the negative's out in front. When you have a negative out in front, I would just put it on the other side. So move it on over. Did I skip something? Oh, it's, that looks like C. Oh man, I should probably redo this video, it's fine. Slipper sometimes forgets. <laughs> okay, sorry. This is a plus eight, so we're gonna subtract eight. I don't know why I thought that looked like the letter B. Anyway, subtract eight from both sides, those cancel. We're left with negative X over three, right? Because that's negative X over three. And then seven minus eight is negative one. Uh, we haven't done anything yet that would require us to change the sign, um, but now we're going to be doing something. So if we divide both sides by a negative one, the whole thing, the negatives all cancel. And so we change the sign. So it's actually X over three is greater than or equal to one. And then to get rid of the negative or not to get rid of the, get rid of three, we multiply both sides by three. Those cancel. We're left with X is greater than or equal to three. And you should probably check your work because this won't make sense. So let's check it. Eight minus three over three, so that'd be one. So eight minus one is greater than or equal to seven, which is true because seven equals seven. And if you tried another number, it would probably be this, it would probably check out to be correct. Wow, that was a long video, I apologize.